Hey guys, this video will be named Oops, I did it again. Like, uh, I'm, you know, I never stop like with uh, improving my decks to the point when I will be truly enjoying and understanding that I pull out maximum possible out of the deck, all right? So what I will be doing today, remember we've been discussing I cannot replace in uh, electrolyte capacitors, but installing the Vima in a parallel to electrolytes to save the high frequencies, specifically low level high frequencies, uh, which are getting muffled when they are going together with the high level signals. All right. Uh, this would be experiment. I get like 10,000 picofarad capacitors. This is MKP series, so it's polypropylene film-based capacitors, the best for sound ever made. So let's see how it will improve. Uh, you asked me like uh, how I compare why I don't provide like audio before and after. I compare directly to my DAC output. So I'm switching between DAC output and DAC output. And that's where I hear the difference. And like uh, I was able to eliminate this difference on my K7 and on uh, Pioneer uh, 858. Uh, CT91 come up very, very good and close uh, with uh, a little bit of imbalance between like uh, lower range and high range. It's more like on the high range, more, more like high frequency range, but it was like originally designed. Uh, the capacitors itself don't change the sonic pattern of the deck. It just provides clarity on the high frequencies. And the best, uh, best explanation so far I was able to come up with is like when I hear the guitars, that's where I hear all strings separately, not together playing a chord, but separately, and that's where I'm enjoying it. All right, so let me do it. I will just apply them on top of this board. I will show you how many will be there. And then I will listen and let you know if it's really improved. Because right now I was confused because this deck sounds really well. It's it's real to real, you know, like right? But comparing to K7 and T858, it loses in details on the high frequencies. So that's what I want to eliminate. So it will be on pair. And like, uh, I didn't hear it before I get this DAC and get this amplifier. I was not able uh, to hear my equipment difference between uh, CD quality and high res. It was playing everything nice for me. And now like with this system upgrades I did over the last two years, uh, it really gives me new ideas and like a new flavor of what I can improve, all right? So let me do it and I see you soon. All right, everything. That's uh, all capacitors which assist on the sound pass, uh, excluding the headphones, all right? So it's 10 capacitors uh, from the input uh, to the record head, all right? I'm excluded uh, microphones because like, I technically don't use them. The microphones would not be able to produce these super high frequencies. All right, uh, that, so that's a playback record amplifier, uh, the first stage, and this record amplifier, the second stage, when it's before mixing with bias. All right, and this playback amplifier, okay. And this is a, a mixing amplifier and like output muting transistors. So like for, it has a capacitors from both sides, right? And the second channel, the same. So now I will test it and we'll let you know if it's finally fixed it. Well, everyone, I listen it for the tape and I'm happy with the results. I would say that uh, it's mostly affects playback. So recording was changing, like uh, source, I mean source, so change it just a little bit, but it significantly improved the playback. Now I have all high frequencies in place. 
I would not play much due to YouTube limitation really, but uh, at least give you a little bit of taste how high frequencies are. Sorry, I cannot play more. They will cut it off anyway. All right, from my last video, like uh, about Dragon, one hour video, it was six or seven seconds of music. They cut it off, <laughs> really, in many countries. I had to remove the music out of this video. So, um, to explain how it sounds, it sounds the same, but the clarity on the high frequencies were improved. Uh, I'm not sure if it's the same. I don't think it will be the same as the pure film capacitors, but it should be pretty close now. All right, thanks for your time. Thanks for your attention. Stay in with me. Hope you enjoyed my channel and bye-bye.